is the end up is how that he ends up uh, classifying it. And that said, we don't know if this is connected. People think it's connected. Uh, we've talked so over a million times uh, between you, me, and Phil, and we don't think that if it's if Rex Sherman is guilty of killing these other four girls, we don't think this fits the pattern whatsoever. And this this is a random outlier. This thing that is interjected into this case for some reason. Um, because uh, of, of um, irony, because in looking for her, they end up finding um, the other four bodies. But uh, we don't think this really is a Rex Yurman case or, or anything. You know, Mike, I want to just say that, uh, look, I'm not going to argue this whole case. This whole right. case is Shannon Gilbert, very complicated. There's mm -hmm. a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of evidence that points one way or the other. The Suffolk County police ruled it was an accidental death. Many people do not believe that. Johnny Ray does not believe that. Uh, the attorney for the Gilbert family, obviously Michael Bodden ruled that it was uh, homicidal asphyxiation, or he just said it was his his uh, autopsy uh, follow up investigation was very incomplete. It was it was, uh, for a uh, a former medical examiner. I thought the work was very schlocky and and not uh, you know look. We had John Ray on our show, and it got a little bombastic about six months or a year ago, and uh, we were talking about this case. But I think one thing we can pretty much agree with is Rex Shulman did not commit this. this if it is, if this case was a murder, Shannon Gilbert, Rex Shulman was not the perpetrator. Would you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, people can change. If serial killers can change their MO, it may mature, it may change over the years. It's not always going to be exactly the same. But um, we think that he killed all four of these girls because all four of these girls were found in, within probably a half mile of each other uh, along a uh, stretch of beach near, I think, Southern State Parkway, uh, where it's kind of wild out there and there's dunes and a lot of overgrowth. So they were all found there. They were found along that one parkway. They were found bur buried be under the sand and dirt, and they were all um, uh, wrapped in, uh, like there was some duct tape involved, and there was also some- um, burlap. There was a burlap. Burlap. Legs, yes. Right, the camouflage burlap. So that looks like a an MO that's consistent with all four. So that's why um, they they got the, the now they have the, him. He was originally arrested, indicted for three, but now he's been indicted and arrested for the fourth. One. So therefore, that looks like if it is him, that it was something that someone would plan out and took their time doing this um, the case with Shannon Gilbert. It looks like a real cluster freak because you have this um, this uh, sex worker going to a guy's house. There's an argument. I don't know what happened. Uh, she's she wants to. Um, she seems like she she's being followed. She's in the house. She wants to leave. She doesn't want to leave. The guy doesn't want her to stay in the house. He actually says, I'm going to go upstairs. And he tells Michael Pack, you take her outside, you know, that sort of thing. It's a real cluster freak. And uh, it doesn't sound anything at all remotely like these other cases that Rex Sherman is being charged with. Not at all. Uh, Wit H from the chat. She was most likely in a situation where she saw what was coming, made an excuse to get to another room with a phone and called the cops, not her driver. It was that serious to her. With H, look, we we don't... Look, she was in distress. Shannon Gilbert yep. was absolutely in distress. Why and how? Uh, we, we don't know all of the answers to that. Uh, Heather, there was a hypothermia theory as she was found at least partially disrobed. I don't know what to think about that, especially after the hired finding. You know, I had the, this whole case would need really some very smart people, investigators as well as medical pathologists to go over to reinvestigate this. And I think that the Suffolk County police, but who no one at this point trusts because of, again, our whole dissertation on the show, James Burke. So no one trusts them or their findings. So that is one of the things that I believe, um, you know, is going to be brought up in this case as a defense, which is our entire dissertation for the whole night here. Elena Gonzalez, 
She was saying over and over she didn't want to leave. Poor young lady. Yeah. She was afraid of something. She, But it seemed like she wanted to stay in the house. She did not want to yeah. leave the house. Uh, yeah. With H, I don't think Rex acted alone. I think there was a group of sickos and he knew the dumping ground. You know, with H, that's a possibility. Yeah. And, and you know something? One of the things, though, in, in, in a case like this that went on so long, and I believe uh, there's a total of um, 12 bodies in this case, um, getting, going back to 1996, um, people never can keep their mouths shut, you know? So wouldn't have someone talked, and I'm not saying that's for sure, but Rex Ewerman, you know, uh, he got away with this. And if you believe, there's looked as many people in the chat, I'm not going to take anything for granted that believe that Rex Ewerman is innocent. Uh, so the search warrants that they did this week for six days in his house, are they going to connect the dots? to any of the other victims that you see on the screen right now in this the search warrant in Rex Human's house will it connect the dots to unsolved victims I think that they have a pretty strong case against um, the Gilgo 4 uh, charging Rex with the Gilgo 4 which of these Young ladies on the screen, Maureen Brainerd Bonds, Melissa Batelame, Megan Waterman, and Amber Costello. And, you know, I just want to make it clear because someone in the chat who I jettisoned into cyberspace uh, said some nonsense about us uh, not valuing her life because she was a hooker. 